The first chapter, as you'd expect, uh, sets the scene in terms of operations, its role, and some of the key features. And there are three sections. One is, what is operations and how does it fit? The second is the characteristics of its role. And the third one is some of the key features. Operations is responsible for delivering the services and making the products that are then sold to customers. If you think about how that process will work, at some stage a product or service will be designed, it'll then be sold, it'll then be delivered, and those are the three key aspects. In addition, there'll be several support functions such as accounting and finance, uh, human resources, and IT. But the key role for operations is that delivery of the services and products. The second is the role. As with all other functions, it has a day-to-day -day and a strategic aspect to what it needs to do. The day-to-day -day is running the services and people under its auspices. The strategic role is supporting customers and meeting their needs. The second is around the style. The characteristic of operations is it handles most of the people within the organization. So its style is to be able to manage those people well. But in addition, there are people relationships outside the organization with suppliers. So it needs to be able to cope both with the internal needs and the external needs that to do with people management. And the final part is some of the key features. Operations is characterized by size. It's a large function. Typically, it accounts for 60 to 7% of the costs. It uses around about 60 to 70% of the assets, and it controls the same level of people. So the task, the day-to-day -day task, is very significant and very critical. These are the key issues and key features that characterize this function.